Actually, good morning, hungry ones. Woo! And we welcome you online. Thank you for joining us. Uh, boy, I just pray that you receive the same spirit and life that we've been experiencing in this place. So receive it today online. And just the word glory and, and the word habitation has, has hit me that God is so good and he's so fresh every day and his glory is, I guess, I guess it's a sign and a wonder. I, I'm having trouble just saying what it is, but I just want more. <laughs> so more God. And thank you, Steve, for bringing the fresh music and worship every morning. Amen. In Jesus Amen. name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you for being here. Wow. Thank you just for taking each of us personally and just wrapping your arms around us. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Seeking your face <laughs> Here we are again, Lord Beholding your beauty If only we could know you more if only you would show us your ways We want to see you We want to see you We want to know you more We want to see you We want to see you I want to know you Through the world and past 
your voice Being on distractions above the fray I push everything away Through the whirlwind, past the noise I press in to hear your voice Beyond distractions above the fray I push everything away Through the whirlwind, past the noise I press in to hear your voice Beyond distractions above the fray Push everything away Through the whirlwind Past the noise I press in to hear your voice Long distractions above the freight I push everything away Only to know you more if Only to know you
day You are my strength You are my life You are my portion Forever You are my strength You are my life You are my portion Forever
See, Lord. 
not enough just to sing it words can describe how much glory you deserve you are always so faithful in everything you
sweep us away I'm caught up in your glory, 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 glory Glory, glory, glory mm-hmm. Imagine being swallowed up in a good way By his glory mm-hmm. Everything disappears but him Just surrounded by the cloud Oh, in the deep, 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 deep dark cloud <laughs> Under the shadow of his wings Oh, in the secret place, the dark, dark place Where we're covered and we see nothing but you Yes, we're covered and we hear nothing but your heart beat under the shadow of your wings the shadow of your wings come and cover us with your feathers come and cover us with your feathers
thousand hunger To find the depths of your heart Insatiable desire To know who you really are And in me there's a hunger To find the depths of your heart The insatiable desire To know who you really are Cause I know There's got to be more Than the little bit I tasted and see You're so good I want to know more I want to see Into your mystery have your glory revealed to me so open my eyes open my heart take me out of my mind and into your spirit awaken my heart awaken my soul take me That's burning for the truth And I've got to get beyond myself And go deeper, deeper into you and In me there's a fire That's burning for the truth I've got to get beyond myself and go deeper, deeper into you. Cause I know there's got to be more than the little bit I tasted and seen. Yeah, you're so good. I want to know more. I want to see. Into your mysteries and have your glory revealed to me. Oh, so open my eyes, open my heart, take me out of my mind and into your spirit. Awaken my heart, awaken my soul.
Yes, I know I'm going out of my mind Cause I'm crazy, crazy about you No distractions we Fix our eyes we Fix our eyes on you
nothing else will do but Jesus Fix our eyes on you, fix our eyes on you We fix our eyes on you, Jesus Fix our eyes on you, fix our eyes on you Nothing else will do, Jesus Fix our eyes on you, fix our eyes on you Nothing else will do Jesus face is shine and shine like the sun I see the lamb seated on the throne and I join with all the angels and all the hosts of heaven
the Lord, holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord Almighty. Holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord Almighty. in the spirits and behold a throne a throne behold a throne, a throne and one sat on the throne to look upon him was to look upon like a jasper sorry a stone and around the throne was an emerald rainbow round about Out of the throne proceeded thunderings, lightnings, and voices. Thunderings, lightnings, voices. 
thunderings and lightnings Round about the throne there were four living creatures Each one of them six hours, six weeks To behold the revelation of the one seated on the throne forever and ever the throne of God I'm crying holy before the throne of God with all the saints and angels sing eternally And 
the 24 elders Casting down the crown The sailing On the sea Set an open course for the crystal sea. I got to be free. Free to face the life that's ahead of me. Oh Lord, you're the captain. I climb aboard. Search for the mysteries on every shore, and I fly. Oh Lord, I fly. Away.
sail away, go sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, go sail away with me. And come sail away, come sail away, go sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, go sail. Stay here in this place. Your spirit knows, your spirit knows. Your spirit knows the way. Your spirit knows the way to eternity. It's easy. If you just let him, Spirit knows, Spirit knows the way to eternity. I had a vision in that little room over there of Jesus uh, standing in the heavens and laughing according to the scripture you know Psalm 2 
and he had this big bowl, big, big, big bowl in his arms, you know, just a huge bowl. And he's, the wind is blowing and he's laughing. And as he's laughing back and forth, the oil that's in the bowl starts to make a swirling, a swirling, a swirling. And pretty soon it starts kind of flopping over the sides of the bowl and down onto us as we were all in that prayer room. Um, just, you know, some people were on their face with the, just, you know, with just uh, burdens and disappointments. And, and you know, I, and the Lord said, you know, the same, the same God that we were singing about this morning with hair like wool and eyes like fire and feet like bronze that walks amongst the candlesticks. The same God that we were singing this morning that sits on the throne and rules and reigns over all. That God, that God sits in the heavens and laughs at his enemies. And your enemies are his enemies. He said, I will be an adversary to your adversaries. I will be an enemy to your enemies. So I feel this morning that um, if you've, as we were just singing, you know, lay it all down, no more distractions. I feel this morning that, you know, sometimes different anointings come into the room. And I just feel like if you come into agreement this morning with just laughing at your enemies, just laughing at your disappointments, la laughing at dreams that seem to be fading, laughing at even where you're feeling kind of like self-pity or uh, you're just tired, just begin to laugh at those things. There's an anointing this morning. There's an anointing because as I was looking at the Lord with that, I, it, it was like the, the whole host of heaven showed up behind him and the wind began, began to blow harder and harder and he's Woo! laughing and laughing. His hair is going back and it, I mean it's a la it's a, a heartier laughter than 1994 and so I would just say this morning Lord we submit ourselves if you want to agree with heaven on earth that's what's happening the Lord is sitting up there laughing at all of our enemies he's laughing at if you're a I feel like if you're a pastor watching online and your church seems to be going down the tubes just laugh at that just laugh at that because God's doing something God's doing something in you God's doing something in your church God's doing something in your ministry and you may not like it but just laugh at it laugh at it because it'll bring awesome change awesome change and I feel like as we agree with that as we engage with that that oil is just flowing out of that bowl just flowing over your finances flowing over your family flowing over everything that hurts your heart hurts the heart of Jesus but he's laughing don't cry over it now don't there is a time to cry there is a, t a season but today's the day to laugh at it just to laugh come into agreement let that door bring you into joy let that door of laughter bring you into joy because the joy of the Lord is a weapon of war so this morning even as you prepare your offering even as we're gonna come just move right into the offering we're gonna laugh we're gonna laugh I hope just come into agreement with that I, I don't you don't have to fall down you don't have to do, just let let that ha ha come out of you because I, that's what's in the room this morning that's what's in that oil that oil of gladness that oil of laughter there's an anointing to say no more no more to our enemies so uh, I'm just gonna combine the offering into that if you're uh, if you need an envelope there in the seat back in front of you <laughs> or behind you and let's just la let's just stand up this morning just honor the Lord in that honor that Lord let that bowl tip over this morning on us we come into agreement with heaven this morning we come into agreement <laughs> We come into agreement with heaven this morning, God. And we just laugh at our enemies, Lord. We join you. 
we join you as you laugh. We laugh with you at our enemies. For who can stand against us? No one, no one. Our God is for us. So, Father, we thank you. We receive the oil out of that bowl this morning flowing down over all of us. We receive that oil this morning, Lord. The oil of gladness. The oil of joy. The oil of freedom. Oh, the oil of, of the love of God. The, what's ever in that bowl that you need, it's yours. It's yours this morning. It's yours this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. And as you bring your offering up, just throw it in them and just laugh at your enemies this morning. In Jesus' name. one thing the joy of God is is so saturating in this place and last night if how many of you were here last night for Pastor Mahesh uh, I tell you one the the weight of what he carries in the spirit with the joy that is so full and evident in his life is cha is life changing so all of you that if you didn't make it out last night come out again tonight come out tonight because he's going to be ministering again and it's going to be amazing and I that's really all I wanted to to let you know um, <laughs> we had 300 people in the house last night yeah so and and everyone got hands laid on and everybody got blessed and it was a really a wonderful time so if you're planning on coming out come a little bit early if you can hang out in the hall and you know have a drink or two and um, and we look forward to seeing you <laughs> okay and I would like to invite Charlie Shane <laughs> to come up He's going to, he has a special introduction to make. So good, Jeanette. So good. So good. So good. How many are enjoying the meeting so far? Last night was incredible. I, I laid on the floor. And you know it's good when you can't feel your body? And your legs are going numb, and your face. Hallelujah. How have you been enjoying it? Just, yeah. Well, this morning, I have the amazing privilege of introducing a very good friend of mine. And I didn't want to mess it up. So if you're watching us online, this is going to be the most epic introduction. Thank you. Pastor Darren Stott is the lead pastor of Seattle Revival Center, a church located in North Newcastle, North Renton area, founded in 1955. He's a third generation pastor and licensed with the Assemblies of God. Darren is the founder of the Supernaturalist Ministries and has traveled throughout Indonesia, Germany, Ireland, Wales, Australia. 
challenging people to embrace the call of God on their lives. He is a key leader in raising up a five-fold counterculture body of believers that major in authentic community empowered evangelism and seeking shalom and justice for cultural new. His greatest joy outside of Jesus is being married to Andrea and being a dad to Abigail, Rose, Peter Joseph, and Sophia, Zoe. I want you to give a most hearty, amazing welcome to my dear friend and the pastor of the most amazing church on the planet. Come on. Come on, Pastor Darren, stop. Come on, please, please, stop, stop. Please. <laughs> Love you too. Thank you for that. Someone say, hey! <laughs> oh! What do you do? Thank you so much, Steve. You are amazing. Love you. Oh. <laughs> Andrew, you want to come up here and say hi to everyone? Yeah? Sophia, you want to come say hi to everyone? Everyone, please welcome my beautiful wife and daughter. Whoa, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Our other kids are at soccer camp today. Oh, you got to go get them in two minutes. Here, I'll, I'll hold Sophia. You just, you know. Hello. She's like, yeah. We love you, baby. Yeah, so just say hi to everyone. Give some prophetic words and say. Okay, that's great. What's your vision? Just share your vision for the church. I'm just <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Uh, oh. Hi. I'm, yes. Okay. Yes. I just, I just did this so everybody would actually believe that I'm married. I know. I know. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have anything? <laughs> no. no, it has just been a great, um, I've been watching the meetings online or been here in the evening and we really have just enjoyed the week. Um, it's just been amazing um, to see God. I just love how God just reiterates things, right? You know, how God was speaking to me in San Diego and then to come home and just to hear those same things um, be reiterated is just so, I just love the spirit of God. Or, And then even, you know, Abigail's word on Sunday morning um, and you just hear that over and over through the speakers. And so um, it's just been really, um, yeah, it's just been such a sweet, sweet time um, this last week, and so we are just really having lots of fun. So, absolutely, yeah. good, good job, love you. <laughs> All right, bye, Sophia. Love you, baby. Awesome. It's an honor to have the uh, the the female Elisha Revolution interns with us. Hello, good to see you. I'm going to put you guys to work here in just a bit. Is that good? So just start getting stuff. And Vaughn, if you could just turn me up in the, in the monitor. I, I haven't had a lot of voice this week, um, partly because I'm, I'm running on about eight hours of sleep for the whole week here. Um, and then uh, with all the gangster rapping that I was doing with Jeremy, that, that didn't help either. You know, so there's a lot of, what, what, uh. Actually, that's the wrong monitor, bro. Um, try to do this one over here. Yeah, check, 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 test, 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 test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Um, I, how high can I count? All right, test, 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 check, check, check. There's nothing. Uh, yeah, there, there it is. Uh, all right, that's perfect. Okay, good. 
All right, go ahead and just put out your hands just like this. Father, we just thank you for your presence. Yeah, God, we just thank you for who you are. We just thank you for what you've been doing and establishing, even this last week. And God, we just pray, Lord, that even throughout um, this particular session, that we just get really, really just smashed in your glory, Father. Yeah, Lord, we just, you know, some of us just need a real big drink in this session, God. Lord, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Darren just needs a really big drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, Jesus. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just fill us up right now, Lord. Just fill us up, fill us up, fill us up. Yep, 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 yep. Hey! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone online, take a big drink right now. Yep, yep. Even if you're driving, just just take a big drink. Wow, yeah, 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 get them, God, get them, God, get them, just put your hand on the person next to you and just say, get them, Lord, <laughs> get them, Lord, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, yeah, 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 five minutes of drinking, yep, can fix the last five years of messed up theology and dryness, and yeah, 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 hey, 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 Wow, God. Wow. Wow. You're the God of the wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the God of shock and awe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Mahesh was saying last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. We just say wow, God. We, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We drink of your awe. We drink of the awesomeness of God this morning. We just drink of your, your splendor and your majesty this morning. Father, we receive who you are. Yeah, we drink of the substance of who you are. Yeah, yeah, we drink of your manifest. We receive, we receive who you are into us this morning. We, Father, we thank you for refreshing of the soul right now, Father. Yeah, 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 yeah. Into our minds and our wills and our emotions. We declare our soul needs renewal this morning. Our souls need re replenishing. Ah, ha, ha. And refreshing. Fresh. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We even declare refreshing over physical bodies right now in Jesus' name. Those with pain in their bodies right now. Those with diseases in their bodies right now. Yeah, those those who are whose bodies are fighting against viruses and bacteria and, and, and infections. We, we receive your glory right now, Father. We receive your glory that brings justice, Lord, even, even to the, on a molecular level, on a genetic level. Ha! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We receive you in right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just engage with your presence right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even to our spirits, Father, we ask, Lord, just for an awakening of the reality that, that your spirit has been intertwined, has been woven together with our spirit, that there's, there's no more separation. There's this place of covenantal union, covenantal relationship. We declare we have union with Christ Jesus. We declare we are the bride. We are becoming one with Christ Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we ask just for, Lord, for your spirit to come and bring revelation and illumination, Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And purge every defeater that would love to separate us from your presence, God. That would love to, um, to fog up the reality of who we are and where we're seated, oh God. Father, we thank you ha, ah, for what you're doing in Seattle. We thank you for the spirit of awakening that's cracking and ripping through the air. Father, we thank you that the winds of change are so violently blowing right now. And we are not ignorant. We are not ignorant of spiritual gifts and spiritual ways and your force that's at work, oh God. Father, we thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you, Father, for your, for your personhood. We thank you, Father, for your personality, oh God. We, we want to honor you as a person. We want to honor your personality, oh God. We thank you.
you, Father. Yeah, 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 yeah. For establishing your kingdom realities in the midst of us, Father. We thank you, Father, for establishing even your personality and your ways, Father. For downloading the contents of your heart and embedding them into who we are. So we can't help ourselves but just to, ref- but just to, um, but just to um, 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 radiate and just to give off um, the, the true reality of who the Father is. We, we pray that when people look at us, they would see Jesus. They would hear Jesus. Yeah, and that, that even through our reflection and manifestation of what we're walking on and walking in, that they would see the Father. That the Father heart of God, that the ways of the Father, that Lord, that who you are, it would be seen through us. Yep, 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 yep. So just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just declare our need for more of you, God. Wow. We just declare we have... We just declare, we need you, God. You're not a luxury. You're a necessity, oh Lord. Your presence is not a luxury. It's a necessity. We don't want to do nothing if your presence isn't with us, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, just go ahead and put your hands up and just say, I'm the perfect candidate, oh God. I'm the perfect candidate for your glory. Oh, I'm the perfect candidate, oh Lord. I'm the perfect candidate. I'm right here, Lord. Get me, God. Get me, Lord. I'm available. I'm available. I'm available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are all that matters, oh Lord. You are all that matters. Your presence is all that matters, Lord. Your presence is all that matters, God. Oh, Father, yeah, 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 we worship you, oh God. We worship you, oh God. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ba Oh, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hmm. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha. Yeah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. More, God, more, 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 more. Hey, 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 ha, 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 ha. Yeah, God, yeah, God, yeah, God, yeah, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, yeah, 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 Jesus. Whoa. Yeah, 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 Lord. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. More. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. More for Jeanette, Lord. Ah. More for Jeanette, Lord. More for Jeanette, Lord. More for Jeanette, Lord. More for Jeanette, God. Yeah, yeah, you're fire. You're fire. Yeah, you're fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah, get her, Lord. Get her, Lord. Get her, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. More for Tom, God. More for Tom. More for Tom. More for Tom. More for Tom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. 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 Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Andy, can I pray for you? Andy Casper, is that all right? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we thank you, Father, for this, for this general God. Father, we thank you that he's a, he's a son of honor. And I see, I see the Lord establishing you as a father of honor. Because before you can be a father, you first have to know how to be a son. And I hear the Lord say that you understand what it means to be a son of honor. And because of that, he's establishing you as a father of honor. You're one who honors the Lord. You're one who's always honored those that the Lord has placed in authority over you, even when it's been tough. And I hear the Lord say that because, you've, because, you've been, because of your faithfulness, because you have hung in there, because you have served those that sometimes didn't deserve to be served, I hear the Lord say that he's going to serve you, that, that, that you're going to get to experience the servant heart of God, where the Lord actually comes and begins to partner with you and the dreams and the desires of your heart, and that you know Jesus as your Savior, but you're going you're gonna to begin to see the servant heart of Christ. And it, you're going to be one who knows what it's like to have your feet washed by the Lord. And it's going to be a real key for promotion and authority. Because I hear the Lord say that you're going to be one who's trusted with authority because you've been tested with authority. And I even see incredible influence behind closed doors. And um, Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for, for Andy's heart. I thank you, Father, that he has kept his heart right. And when he could have gotten bitter, he got better. And I, I hear that scripture out of the Proverbs, the guard, you know, guard your heart for it's the wellspring of life. And I hear the Lord saying, Andy, you've, guard, you've guarded your heart. And because of that, there's a pure wellspring of life. Yep, it's pure. And because of that, because it's coming um, through you from the Father, there's a, there's a purity and a culture of honor that's been established even in your church. Where, those, where the favor that rests on you as a leader in your community, that that same favor for influence is going to rest upon your congregation. I even see the Lord drawing influencers. I even see um, th that, that bridge into the place of government I increasing. And, um, and the Lord says he's going to bless you and honor you because you've never lusted after power. You've never been power hungry. Um, that's never turned you on like it turns some others on. But you've always been willing to be the guy in the back row. You've always been willing to, to, you know, to always 
always, you know, kind of not, not be in the spotlight. But I hear the Lord saying, it's your time, Andy. And I, and I see him bringing you into the light because you haven't lusted for the light. And I just hear the Lord say that he's going to, he's going to honor you and you're going to get to experience what it's like to be served by the Lord. What it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And his banner over you, Andy, is love. Yeah, his banner over you is love. And I just see, <laughs> Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you that, that uh, for the love of God that you've established in Andy, that he's a father of love. He's a father of love. And even when others um, have come to Andy thinking that they were going to be re- rejected because they were rejected in the past by, because of a religious system or, or, or whatever else, uh, that, that Andy is, has always come back with that love. And, and, um, and Father, I thank you, God, that you have established that banner of the Father's love over Andy and over his community. And I thank you, Father, that it's healthy. And Andy, um, I, I just see the Lord coming and um, in any little place of fear, it's just about the unknown. I, I, I think that there's been areas of the unknown that you're like, I just don't know. And because of that, I, I like, because you know, uh, you're the kind of guy that you like to know the outcome. You like to know, like, not, the, not just the equation, but you like to know the outcome before you make the commitment to it. But I, I see the Father inviting you into the unknown, Andy, into that place of greater faith where you get out of the, out of the boat, not knowing if the water will really even sustain you. And I just see the Father inviting you even to the place of the, un, the, uh, the unknown. And it's not going to be scary like it was in the past. It's really going to be liberating. And I just see this wonderful liberation, Andy, this wonderful freedom thing that's coming on you. And I just see like the Lord's not going to pull you out of any old paradigms because it's good. Like what he's established in you. You know, for the last 10, 20 years, it's good. I, there's a good foundation in you. And I just see like the faith of God being released into you, Andy. <laughs> I just see the faith of God being released. And it's not even you having to put your faith in God. It's the faith of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's being downloaded. It's a gift of faith. That, and it's going to surprise you. And you're going to find yourself saying things that you would not normally say. And you're going to find yourself doing things that you would not normally do. And you're going to say to Cindy, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> you're like, why did I say yes to that, you know? <laughs> I don't even think I'm qualified for that. <laughs> and, um, and, yeah, and then you guys are just going to laugh and you say, this is just a good opportunity for God to show up. And dude, God is going to show up, Andy. God is going to continue to be faithful faithful in your life. And Andy, the story of your life is going to reek of the faithfulness of God. The people are going to look at your storyline and they're going to say, we've seen the faithfulness of God in your life. So Andy, we bless you with the strength and the courage, everything necessary for this new um, season with new missions from the Father. And again, I want to end the way I began. You are a general in the faith. You've been established into your region for such a time as this. And dude, the, the, the season that you're coming into it's going to be so critical people are going to run to your church looking for answers your phone's going to be ringing off the hook people are going to be calling you looking for meetings um, because of the 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 season of tension that we're coming into and people are going to want answers and i see that even when there's tension and fear and confusion none of those things will touch you or your community you will be um like a a a a, a center of hope a center of refuge and and a center of peace and people are going to come, they're going to run, they're going to run into your community, and they're going to find the Prince of Peace. So Father, we thank you, God, for the establishment of this general in Virginia, and Lord in Virginia, and we, we bless you, Andy, we bless you, we call you highly favored of God, in Jesus' name. Yeah, amen, Lord, come, 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 Lord, more, 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 God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yeah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Wow, thank you, Lord. Wow, thank you, Lord. Come on, let's just lift Jesus up. Let's just begin to praise the Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Go ahead and stand to your feet. Father, we honor you. We honor you. We honor your assignments in this time. 
We honor your fresh assignments being released onto the earth. Father, we pray, Lord, that a new sense of urgency would be birthed into our hearts um, this morning. A sense of urgency, Father, that, that, that knowing that it's time to engage in this season. It's time to engage in this season. Father, um, forgive us for being far too complacent. Father, we, Lord, we just repent of complacency and even lukewarmness. For being content with other people's spiritualities, uh, other people's revelation, other people's experience, and not pressing in for ourselves. We just repent for coming up with excuses for not engaging your presence ourselves. We repent of that, and we receive the invitation to come into your presence, to come into your chambers, to meet with you. Yeah, you, there's an invitation. There's an invitation for you to come, for you to come as a son, for you to come as a daughter. There's an invitation for you to have your own relationship with Jesus, to have your own relationship with the Father, and not have to, um, not have to live your life through somebody else's spirituality or somebody else's revelation. Just declare, I'm coming into a new revelation of God as Father. That you're going to know your father. He's going to speak to you. He's going to tell you what you need to know. You're going to come into a revelation of God as your shepherd. Yeah? Wow, thank you. Thank you. Hold. Mm. Yeah. We love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your Yeah, you may be seated. The Lord kept me hanging on this one. I was praying into this, into this session. I'm like, God, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to... And he's like, I ain't going to tell you. I was like, well, thanks a lot. Uh, how, do, how, do I, how do I prepare? And like, what do you want, where, where do you want to go? And I just, it was just... Yeah, I mean, he didn't say, I ain't going to tell you. He just didn't say anything. <laughs> I was like praying, like, God, what do you, what do you, what do you want to do? And he's like, I don't... I don't know, <laughs> but I just feel like this is what we're this is what we're supposed to be doing. And um, James Gall in San Diego released a very interesting word on um, which he tends to do um, on ATMs. And he and he saw ATM and he um, and he asked you know and he and he um, and he asked the Lord what is that? And the Lord spoke to him and said it's apostolic team ministry. And um, so we just, re- we just received that word. Yeah, we just received that word here, that, that, that anointing for apostolic team ministry. And Lord, we just thank you for what, for what you're doing even in this, even in this uh, service this morning. Yeah, and we just thank you, Father, that, that the kingdom of God is composed of supernatural relationships. And we thank you that this is a week of building new relationships and going deeper, even in a place of relationship. Father, you, well, we thank you, that, you were, that we were created for relationship, that we were created to be in relationship with you, and we were created for compatibility in relationship with each other. So, Father, we just thank you, Father, for, wh- for what you're doing um, here, even in this room, 
and even e- even this even this even this week. Yeah. 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 Mm. 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 Oh. So apostolic team ministry. So Elisha, Revolution interns, why don't you come up here? Thank you. Let's welcome them. We got to hang out this last week, and we, we had a lot of fun. And, um, and then they got to hang out with Sir Ivan Roman, and, and he activated them. The guys were just here, and man, they, they, were, they were lit up. And trust that you guys are, are, are <laughs> lit up and ready to go. But you, guys, you guys getting some stuff from the Lord? And Yeah. Awesome. Alicia, what, what, what are you getting? Um, you can take it. <laughs> Just go for it. Um, actually, for the lady standing right here, um, Jeanette, I believe, was her, what was her name? Okay. Um, what I saw was um, they're coming into the season um, like like Aaron did when they put the, the, I don't know if it was a staff or rod, I can't remember really, um, but it budded. And I feel like it was to show favor. And I feel like you're coming into a season of favor. Whoa. I'm not sure what that looks like for you, but I just saw this and I just saw it, oh, that rod with like little buds on it over you. And I just wanted to encourage you with that. So good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Jessica, you got it? Um, you know, when I was worshiping, I literally like I saw rain on my hand like a drop of rain came to me and i was like lord like what is that like i really feel just gonna be like a new refreshment like falling into this place like god that is gonna bring a new wave of uh, there's a new wave and refreshment that's gonna come into this place and I, god's gonna release a, like a rain and he's gonna drop it and i'm like i literally i had to do this i'm like like what's going on here? Like wow. you know, it was it was it was crazy. So I really, I, God, I thank you, Lord, for yeah, what you're doing yeah, here in yeah, Seattle, yeah. God, and I thank you, God, for the new rain of fresh refreshment that's gonna come into this place and this new season, God, and for wow. the new wave that's gonna come into Seattle, God, and I thank you, Lord, God, for yeah, for pouring out more and more of your spirit and your glory over this place. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for more of your glory into this place, Lord yeah, God. Yeah, we yeah. thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, amen. Yeah. Good word, Colleen. Um, I just wanted to pray for anyone who felt like they had fogginess in their brain, like they're thinking, because I think God wants to heal that. Yeah. So why don't you all stand up, and I'll just declare over you. you just put your hands on your, on, your, on your heads there while she's praying. Thank yes. you, Father. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God, we just pray for clarity in all these minds, God. We just break off anything that would keep them from thinking clearly, Father, and we just say free thinking, God, and we pray that you would guide their, guide their thoughts. We break off anything of the devil that would be trying to come against their thoughts, and we pray even for, even for um, easy sleep, God, at night, oh. that all fatigue during the day would be broken off because of their poor sleeping at night. So, God, we just thank you for easy sleep at night and good sleep and sound sleep, God, and we break off any, um, any thoughts that aren't of you. Awesome, awesome, mom. Yes, uh, Steve. Yeah, I really just felt like when you were got up and you were worshiping, it was like just ushering in the presence and the love of God. So thank you so much for being someone who honors that so well. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I really feel like. Do you play the keyboard? <laughs> Is that <laughs> seven? YouTube. How to play the piano in YouTube? Awesome, awesome. Please. Yeah, something else? Yeah, one I last thought thing. so. Um, I felt a pain in my um, kidney, my my right one. So I don't know if somebody's. Um, it could be both, but I just felt the pain. And does anybody been experiencing pain? Okay, if you can please stand up. Father God, we just declare healing Whoa. virtue over her, God. We just declare complete healing right now in Jesus' name, God, for, for she is a faithful woman, God. And I just see that over her, God. And we just declare complete healing. We break off anything that, any affliction coming over her body right now in Jesus' name. We declare complete healing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Come on. Anything else? Yeah. yeah come. All right. Um. I feel like someone have like really bad digestion system. It's literally like sometimes like you eat and you just have get it like nausea even like when you when you eat. Okay. Oh, wow! Wow! Can you, yeah, can you stand up, please? Yes. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Yeah, God, we pray right now. God, restoration over the digestion system. God, right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Restore it now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes, Father. Yes, touch them right now, Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. Releasing your, yes, God, your healing angels right now. What's your name? Um, the lady in the pink over there. Um, Aaron Michael. What is it? Aaron Michael. Yeah, Aaron Michael. I just like see so much like faithfulness. Like you just like so being so faithful like for the Lord. I just oh. like being like just like God. Just like He sees you, how much you've been serving and how much you've been putting all these like your heart. Just you pur literally putting your heart, and God's been seeing you in this season. And God just like He just like He's so like proud of you, and He's just like so He enjoy every moment, every moment you're putting in your heart. And I've seen you even praying like praying and believing like in just like on your knee in your in your house just like in your just in intimate with him and just believing Whoa. believing for just people been in your heart for a long time i don't know if it makes sense to you but i'm like i've seen you just like believing for people and god just like just god wants you to know that just like i'm hearing your prayers come on and i know where they are and i want you to trust me in this and do not lean on your effort just really lean on me that's just like release it to me and i'll take care of it come on for god we thank you for the salvation that she's believing for for the for the yeah god thank you god for even for the yes god freedom yes god yes god wow. yes god yeah yes yeah, god we yeah. thank you lord god we thank you god for bondage that's just been just surrounding some of her family god we break that in the name of jesus come father on. god come on. Come on. and we pray right come now on. restoration over her family god yeah i thank you lord god thank you god yeah yes lord come yes. on how about like anyone here that um like hearing the lord's been a normal part of your life but in this in this season you just it feels like you haven't been able to hear from the lord um uh, if that's you would you stand up awesome awesome Awesome. Yeah. Anyone else? Like you just you just haven't been able to hear God's voice. Just go ahead and stand up. You guys want to go pray for? Them? You guys want to go pray for them? Just put your, put your hands on your on your ears. And so, Father, just go ahead and stretch out your hands. Father, we just uh, we just thank you, Father. Um, yeah, we just thank you, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if someone can put just just go ahead and lay your hands on on her right here, this this gal. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. So I just declare clarity right now in Jesus' name. I declare clarity. Yep, 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 yep. And that everything that's tried to deafen the voice of the Lord, like including like just distractions or even demonic interference. We just declare right now clarity, clarity, clarity. Ears to hear, ears to hear, ears to hear, ears to hear. And uh, Father, we just thank you that this warfare over hearing your word and hearing your voice, Lord, that this is a good indicator because they're coming into a season right now where, where, um, where you're going to begin speaking loud and clear and there are directives from heaven um, that are going to be important for this new season. So Father, we thank you for ears that here and I just like I, I just felt like, like I just heard like demonic interference just like white noise like so uh, father we thank you for turning off the white noise for turning off all interference if that's anyone else in the room just just come into agreement by faith right now yep 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 hey 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 yeah 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 all demonic interference go right now yeah even even lies of defeat even lies of defeat like that, that come to frame up feelings uh, of discouragement we just command all discouragement to go to be released from you even like even just like um that uh uh, like there's like like it's like a big horse blanket uh, that's wet and it's weighty and um and it's and, it, and it's and it's black and it's discouragement just just throw that off of yourself right now just get that off of you right now just you know just just throw that off right now all discouragement go right now in jesus name all discouragement go right now in jesus name and i prophesy courage over you right now courage 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 and the, yeah and that feeling of weightlessness to be able to run Yep, to be able to run like a horse, like secretary, like, like a champion in Jesus' name. Yep, 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 yep. And I just declare it's going to be so easy to hear the word of the Lord. It's like he's just going to be nonstop, just always talking. You'd be like, God, not right now. I'm trying to do my grocery shopping. So, Father, we just thank you for clarity in Jesus' name. Everyone said amen. All right. Just begin to expect it by faith. Just begin to expect it. When I, Jeremy just released this prophetic word for me recently. He said, Darren, I see you raising up awakened ears. And he said, um, Walt Disney um, had a company of people. They were called the Imagineers. And they were the R&D. Uh, he didn't go into all this. I had to look it up. But he started telling me about the Imagineers and Walt Disney's Imagineers. So, um, so I got some revelation on it by Googling it. 
Google's like a revelatory machine. So anyways, I, I looked up the Imagineers, and apparently Walt Disney had a team that he employed of these guys that were the R&D department of Disney to begin building these incredible theme parks. Um, so t- taking, taking the, imagina- the, the realm of the imagination and bringing in that into a manifestation where it literally known as the Magic Kingdom, where whole families could engage in a fantasy that's become a reality. And so anyways, that's my own terminology for it. That's not exactly what Google said. Um, and so Jeremy said, bro, I see you raising up awakeneers, and these are going to be like a company of people that are releasing awakening onto the earth. Just someone say awakening. Yep, awakening. That's kind of a, a, a theme for this week, awakening and harvest. Um, we did this little panel conversation, uh, a, a brunch thing, and and um, I love panels, and somebody asked, what's the difference between awakening and revival? And the, and the question was for James, and I leaned over and I said, about 27 years. And he goes, well, that's about right. <laughs> that, that, wasn't in, that wasn't in the mic, that was just, you know, the, off, the, off the record. And then James began to give a, like a historical narrative um, for awakening um, in, in the U.S. And, and, here's, here's sometimes, and here's sometimes what we, what we do is um, when God begins to move on the earth, we begin c- comparing it to uh, the last hundred years or the last 200 years. So what we use is we use the great awakening uh, to contrast what God's doing on the earth um, right, right now. And, 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 and the problem with that is the Bible, Okay, so America is not the same America uh, that we were a hundred years ago. Okay, uh, we're a different we're a different country, and I think what God wants to do on the earth is going to be different than anything we've ever seen in the past. So I think if we're using if we're using the history books as a way to compare what God is going to begin doing, um, you're not going to have a grid for what God's going to be, be, begin doing on, on on the face of the earth because it's going to be stuff that we did not see established through John G. Lake's ministry and through Oral Roberts' ministry. So we honor we honor the forerunners. We honor the pioneers, right? Faith and honor is the currency of heaven. Um, but it's time for us to begin getting ready and I, and, uh, for what God is about to do, knowing that the, that the only history book that's really going to have a grid for where we're going is the Word of God, the Bible. So I think it's really, really important that when we're talking about awakening and revival, um, we're not just going to God's generals, but we're going back to the book of Acts. We're actually going into the Bible and diving into the paradigms that were established um, in, God's, in God's Word. So so I, when Jeremy gave me that word about the awaken, the, the awaken years, um, I believe that. Um, and, and, and here's the thing that I love about uh, awakening in the book of Acts. That as God began to move on these people, and as they began to get saved, um, they began running from city to city. Everybody say city to city. City to city. In fact, whole cities started to get Christianized. Whole cities. And so, um, uh, to the degree that if you lived in any major city, you were most likely a Christian. If you lived outside of the city, you were most likely a pagan or a heathen. So, uh, a pagan is the word paganus or heathen. Um, uh, 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 those who live on the heath, right? So, uh, initially, pagan and heathen didn't mean that you were sacrificing goats wearing black cloaks, but that essentially you just didn't live in a city. Why do you say that? Because I believe that's actually a grid for awakening. And I actually believe that what we're going to start to see are revival hubs, apostolic resource centers that start to get established in cities. I'm talking downtown Seattle, downtown San Diego, uh, downtown uh, Washington, D.C., right? You know, like, like if there's such a thing, uh, there is, I, I haven't been there, but um, uh, like, that, that the Lord's going to start taking um, burning ones and establishing them in cities. And what's going to happen is that we're going to see a revival dynamic um, where people are taking, a, they're, they're, they're stepping into their authority and they're stepping into this place of responsibility where they're making a long-term commitment for a sustained revival. For a sustained revival. And so, um, uh, everyone just say Authority. Authority. It's, it's Matthew 10.10. 10. It's where Jesus calls his 12 disciples and it says, and he gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. Just say every disease and every affliction. That's the standard. 
That's the standard. This is the historical narrative that, that be, needs to begin to frame up this expectation for awakening within our hearts. Yep, absolutely. And uh, so, <laughs> as we begin to make a commitment, as we begin to take responsibility for a sustained revival within our hearts, that revival over time equals awakening, which is the reformation of culture. And I believe that you can actually reform culture without revival. I believe that you can actually shape culture, okay, without the presence. Yeah, because all, that's what the Fortune 500 companies are doing. That, that's what everybody's doing right now except the church. So the church can actually reform the culture without the presence. We can get strategic. We can get the billionaires. We can start having round tables. We can start, you know, we can start really engaging in, in that kind of thing. There's nothing wrong with any of that, okay? But there is a model, there is a grid given to us in the book of Acts where there was a people of God that didn't say, hey, they, they didn't say, hey, we're going to, you know, they, 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 I don't think they knew what they were doing in the book of Acts, honestly. I think the fiery flame of God's presence came down upon them and then into them. And they just started like screaming and revealing the revelatory knowledge of who Jesus is and walking in a demonstration of where Jesus is. And then they, they began going to where the people were. Where were the people? In the cities. And then as the cities started getting saved, as people started getting saved, right? Industries started getting saved. So for Darren... I, I feel like my call, because you got to know what your call is, right? you got to know what your metron, what your sphere is. For Darren, um, I don't feel like I'm, I'm supposed to necessarily go into government or go into media necessarily or go into education. I think like what, part of what my role is is to be an instigator of revival and awakening in the hearts of people, knowing that I'm going to meet people, and I don't know who they are, but I'm just going to believe that the fire of God's going to come on them and into them, and then, and then later I'll find out who they actually were, and all of a sudden I'll realize that here's a burning one that's been established in government or in media or whatever, whatever else, that I believe that what we are supposed to do as the body of Christ is to be like Jesus, and we begin serving people, right? right? Not lusting after a place of power or even influence, but what we do is we begin going into the culture as burning ones, and if your heart is beating, then you are a perfect candidate for ministry. Going out and walking in our authority that every disease would be healed. Like, how many of you, that's just your heart? Like, that's what you're, that's what you're going after um, in this place where where uh, that when you find out that somebody is sick you just get like really ir I love I love what Mahesh said last night about Alzheimer's and dementia issues he just goes oh that makes me angry like I, I forget his, his word choice but he's just like that's a that's a spirit and I think that's what the Lord is, is actually doing in, in, in the church. I think that's part of revival. I think that's part of awakening. Is, is, is all that hope deferred that, that's been in our hearts. All that place of when you hear bad news, you're just like, that, that sucks. All that hope deferred, it, it's getting displaced in the church. And the Father is raising up awakened ears. Those who are walking in authority. And he called to them his 12 disciples and he gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out. To cast them out. To cast them out. What do you do when a demon begins to manifest? You cast it out. Because there ain't no human that was created to be a host for a demon. That humanity was created to be temples to hold his glory. And they began to um, uh, heal every disease and every affliction. And then if, and, and this, I'm just reading to you out of uh, Matthew. Matthew 10, and then, and then it says um, in verse 8, and then he, he, Jesus gave them this responsibility, these directives. And here, here's what they were. Heal the sick. Everyone say heal the sick. Heal the sick. Raise, the dead. Raise the dead. Cleanse lepers. Cleanse lepers. Cast, out demons. Cast out demons. You've received without paying. Now give without paying. And so that, that was the commission. He's like, hey, all this stuff that you've seen me doing, all this stuff that you've seen me walking in, you get to go and start doing the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you have ever heard this incredible term, uh, this incredible phrase, that with great power 
comes great responsibility. You know, the incredible thing about responsibility is that when you see somebody walking out um, responsibility, when you see somebody that's walking in authority, you start to capture the heartbeat. You start to capture the DNA of the one that delegated or commissioned that responsibility. And you know so, what's you know, so awesome about, about this particular uh, set of directives is that when you step into alignment with the heart of God, when you step into, uh, into these directives, you're not just doing this just to do it. Um, all of a sudden, you begin to see the world differently. All of a sudden, you, you begin to see that, that the way things are are not the way they ought to be. Um, and, and, and all of a sudden, when you start to see people that are sick, when you start to see people that are oppressed, all of a sudden, your heart starts to get moved with love. And, 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 and I think that there's something about the, the church being awakened um, in the power of God, that, that we're, we're, that we're going to step into this incredible place of power and love, so that when we see the sick healed, it's coming from this place of compassion, knowing that there's no person that was created to be sick, that there's no person created to be possessed. And all of a sudden, we're going to begin carrying God's heart of love, and we're going to begin stepping out and addressing, uh, and, and addressing stuff. And to be honest, like, so this is, the, this is, like, this is, my, um, this is my own testimony, that as, that as a pastor, there were many times that I actually felt powerless. As a pastor, there were many times that I was, that I was asked to come in and to pray for people um, that, that were sick. And what I found myself doing was encouraging them because I knew that God could heal people, but I didn't think that he'd actually use me um, to do it. And then when God began to move here at the beginning of 2016, I, I wanted miracles, I wanted revival, I wanted awakening, but when it started to happen, there was all this doubt in my own heart. There was all this fear in my own heart. I, I remember the first time I watched Charlie unwrap somebody's like cast off their arm. I was like, bro, what are you doing? Like, well, like, what are you doing? You're, you're unwrapping the cast? Like, my, like, my heart was just like, dude, dude, you, you, dude, what are you doing? And then, all of a sudden, all, all of a sudden, like, all, all of a sudden, just watching Charlie and just being in these meetings and watching people get healed and watching all this stuff, all of a sudden I realized that, um, that as a pastor, it's not just my job to comfort people when they mourn. That, that my job as a pastor is not just to be there for somebody when the, when the enemy's uh, wrecking havoc within a family. And, and my testimony is just about hosting the presence of God, you know, uh, 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 and, and, and us as a community doing this thing, um, is that I have so much confidence now that when I see people that are being afflicted with depression and with, with being oppressed by sickness and disease, when I see this kind of stuff... Um, I, I'm like, this is my responsibility. I've got to do something. With great power comes great responsibility. And when you step into responsibility and when you make a commitment, God will back you up with his power. Absolutely. And what, what was so amazing that within my own heart, I didn't realize that I had like lots of hope to defer to my own heart. I didn't realize that, um, that I just didn't really expect, I mean, for, for God to show up. But I'm telling you, when you see God start to show up night after night, when you see God start to use, um, you know, people that, that are newly saved or newly, like, when you see God just start to do, do crazy stuff, it builds so much confidence. And then all, all you want to do is see everybody else doing it too. And... And I'll, and, I'll, and I'll just tell you, like, like for me, I know I'm a little bit all over the map right now, but um, uh, okay, for for me, when I when we got this word about the West Coast Rumble, I literally thought that that was going to be fulfilled, you know, in a year. And there was the call at Azusa, and like we we literally thought that was going to be a catalyst. Like we literally thought that the West Coast was no longer going to be known as the Left Coast, but the Blessed Coast by 2017, right? And so, um, so a year and a half later, or, or a year later, I'm like, man, what's going on? Like, why isn't the word fulfilled yet? And then it was when James was actually here, it was like the Lord spoke to me. He said, hey, you've stepped into this place of, like, revival identity. You've stepped into this place of authority. But there's a place of responsibility where I'm inviting you to step into this place of, of commitment and to a long-term commitment. And what that prophetic word is, is it's actually a mandate. And if you're willing to begin hosting that word as a mandate, if you, if you can take this as a part of your ministry identity, then, uh, like, as, like, and, and, I, and I hate to do this, but my own terminology is to say like a 30-year call. 
And um, uh, meaning that, that, that are you willing to invest the next 30 years of your life into awakening, into harvest, into this place of sustained revival, knowing that, um, that the Lord's going to establish, uh, the Lord's going to establish literally revival hubs, that the Lord's going to res- uh, establish a company of awakeners who are willing to lean into the resistance, who are li- willing to lean into the tension, who are willing to lean into the hope deferred, who are willing to, to take a little bit of criticism are you are are you willing to make a commitment to say that that even when it's not profitable and even when it costs you everything and even when people are talking smack on you and even when the crowds aren't there and even when the numbers aren't there are you willing to lay your life down to be part of a movement on the on on the earth where it's where it's a form of christianity that's not just task driven it's not just responsibility driven it's not just model driven but are you willing to give the rest of your life to raise up a company of believing believers who will run with the thing of God are you willing to do that because I believe that if if we're willing to make that commitment and if we're willing to step into that responsibility if we're willing to step into this place of of supernatural endurance where we're willing to hang around a while if we're willing to keep moving even when you want to start quitting even when you want to just like say maybe I missed it like even when uh when when it seems like all hell is coming against you or it just seems like you're 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 you're, you know whatever else if you're willing just just to keep if you're willing just to keep moving that if, if we can get through, you know, one year and two years and three years, and all of a sudden you look behind you and you're not alone anymore. And all of a sudden there's people behind you and churches behind you, you know, and, 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 and uh, cities behind you. And, and, all, and I'm telling you, if you're willing to make that commitment, if you're willing to, to say, God, I want to be a person of responsibility. I want to be a person uh, who's in authority, who's under authority. I want to be a person whose heart is in alignment. And I want to be a person who doesn't walk in bitterness. I want to be a person who doesn't walk in offense. I want to be a person that's seeking after the kingdom and, and your righteousness, knowing that all this stuff is going to be added unto me. If you're willing to make that commitment, that lifelong commitment to be an awakener, uh, to, to be one, uh, an agent of, 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 of awakening, that, that, that God is going to honor you and God is going to establish you. And I so believe that there's this stirring right now um, in the heart of a generation um, that's, that's willing to go back to those places where it didn't end well, that's willing to go back to, to the truth train wrecks of the past that's willing to go back uh, to those places where where maybe people said we'll never do that again because of how it ended we'll never we'll never do that again because it was, it was it, because it was just so messy but i think that there's a generation that's willing to say god if revival's messy then i want to get in the mess and, and and it may cost me everything but i'm willing to dive in because because th- there's no other way i've got to see this authority i've got to see this responsibility i've got to see the kingdom of god on um, being made manifest on the earth because when i look at the world I say this is not the way it ought to be and when I watch the news I say this is not the way it ought to be and when I look at the elections and when I look at the government I say this is not the way it ought to be but I'm not powerless I am powerful because I am a son and I've said yes to what God wants to do and I'm telling you if you say yes to the Lord there will be resistance there will be the pressure there will be the weirdness if you say yes to the Lord people will talk talk about you people will come against you you'll feel doubt you'll feel fear you'll feel isolated you'll feel alone all this stuff will come will come at you but if you can endure if you can having done all to stand firm God will be with you God will stand with you and you will find yourself a part of a company part of a tribe part of a people part of the awakened ears part of a, a company people that will settle for nothing less than God's very best and to see the establishment of God's authority and justice being made right on the earth <laughs> Acts chapter 2 the spirit falls yay awesome the flame comes in yay awesome Acts chapter 3 the cripple gets healed at the gate yay awesome Acts chapter 4 the political leaders, the religious leaders, the military leaders, they assemble. They all come together to form an alliance to shut down the anointed ones on the earth. And how many of you feel that? It's like you've been saying yes to the Lord and you've been hosting prayer meetings. You've been hosting gatherings. And it's like the moment you said yes. It's like the moment you said, I'm not just going to go with this stream as, as Jeremy has been preaching a lot lately. Instead of just going with the flow, it's time to start swimming upstream. It's time to start swimming up the river against the current that the culture says everything should look 
this way. And the church says everything should look this way. And everybody's kind of going the same way. And, and the Lord spoke to Jeremy and said, it's time to start going upstream. It's time to start going up the river because that's where the throne is. You begin going against the, res you begin entering into the resistance. You begin entering into that tension. You begin doing the opposite of what everybody else is doing. And it doesn't look logical. And it doesn't look wise. But you're swimming up the river because that's where the throne is. And that's, uh, man, Jeremy hit that so on. I, I believe that that is the call. And, and it's going to require endurance. It's going to require perseverance. It's going to require vision. It's going to require tenacity. But that's the cost. There's going to be a great cost. Because I'm telling you, awakening doesn't just happen. Revival doesn't just happen. It takes a people that are hungry that say we will settle for nothing less than God's manifest presence on the earth. And I want to... I want to hang out with hungry people. I don't, want to do, I don't want to just hang out with successful people. I want to hang out with hungry people. I don't want to just hang out with people that have everything. I want to hang out with those people that don't, that don't have anything. Those people that are crying out for God. Because how many know that sometimes all of, our media, our, all of our needs can be met. And we can go into this place of just going with the flow. Going with the flow. You can go with the flow and look successful through the world's, through the world's ways and, and through, even through the church's ways. But I'm telling you, there's an invitation to lean into the tension, to lean into the resistance, to set your eyes on the prize, to be like, to be like Peter. I, it, I, I, man, it's one of my favorite stories. I, I mean, Peter, just stinking Peter. He's the one dude that got out of the boat. He's the one, he was the only guy. They all could have went walking on water. Man, they, they could have spent the rest of the day on the water. But out of that whole boat, there was only one dude that, that got out of the boat. And he said, Jesus is... If that's you, invite me to come to you. And then he kept his eyes on Jesus. And the moment he took his eyes off of Jesus, he began to sink. And I, I just, I, I believe that, there's, that, that, that we're on the boat. And I believe that there's a generation that's saying, Jesus, where are you? Where are you? Jesus, where are you? And if that's you, invite me to come to you, knowing it's going to be the most dangerous thing you ever do. It's going to require getting absolutely out of your comfort zone, absolutely out of the safety of logic and reason. To get, it, it's going to require for, you, for some of you even to uh, move out of your existing community, knowing you're leaving everything else behind. You're leaving all your friends behind in the boat, knowing that Jesus is calling for you to come. And if that's resonating in you uh, this morning, I want you to invite you to come. It's like Jesus is, you're like, Jesus, if that's you, if you're speaking to me, then bid me come to you. And if that's you, I want you to, just to come forward this morning because I want to pray for you. Yep, yep, yep. Knowing, like, you can feel that tension. You can feel that, that, that resistance. And you're like, there is no other way. I, I want to give my life to this. I want to be, I want to be different. I want to begin swimming upstream as, uh, 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 against the current. I, I don't care what the culture says. I don't even care what the, what the church culture says. I want heaven's culture. I want heaven's ways. I don't care what, what's cool right now, what sounds cool right now. Jesus, I want you, the fullness of you, the fullness fullness of your, of, your, of your character, the fullness of your ways. And when everybody else is getting snarky and cynical, I want to be the humble one that's responding in a, in a counter spirit. And when everything is getting hostile and weird within the world, I want to be one who's walking in peace, one who's walking in rest. I want to, I want to contrast the norm. I, don't want to, I wasn't created to be normal. I was created to be extraordinary. Yeah, yeah, to walk in the extraordinary glory of the Lord. Just, just declare over yourself right now. Just declare, I was created to be extraordinary, not ordinary. I wasn't created to look like everybody else, to sound like everybody else. I wasn't created to fit in. I was created to be a, a, a man of authority, a woman of authority, a man of responsibility. A woman of responsibility. I was created to walk in the glory. To release the, 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 to release the realities of the kingdom of heaven. But Father, I thank you for these awakened ears. I'll just, I'll just pray for you. Father, I thank you for these awakened ears. I thank you that 
that you're raising up a generation that's willing to step into that tension, into the unknown. Father, I thank you that that's kind of what you called me to do this morning. To get up here without really knowing what I was even going to say. To be willing to look like a fool. That instead of just operating out of our gifting, we're willing to enter into the tension of the unknown. To walk into a room before we even know what we're going to say. To walk up to a person before we even have the prophetic word. To pray for the sick even when we're not feeling the anointing. step into that place where we need to know the Holy Spirit as our comforter. And Father, we ask God that we could walk in your power and your humility. Father, we repent of pride We're thinking we know more or we have more. We're looking down on others who think differently. We're posturing ourselves above even other believers because we speak in tongues or because we believe in the prophetic. Father, we ask that you give us your eyes and your heart for your bride, for your kingdom. That we could be participators in your glory and this new assignment of your glory on the earth. Father, we ask that we would be ones who are releasing blessing when everyone else is cursing. That we would be oracles of fear when everybody else is releasing I'm sorry oracles of hope <laughs> oracles of hope when, when, when there's so much tension and fear in the atmosphere <laughs> and that even in the angst and the tension of this world that we would walk in your presence and that we would walk in your rest We give our lives, Father, to your assignment of awakening in our country. Father, we give you our lives, our talents, our dreams, our abilities. And we ask that you would knit us into the garment of your move on the earth. Wow! And that you would use us, Father to bring a strength, to bring a strength into the ecclesia, Father. Lord, we just bless your church this morning. We bless your bride this morning. Lord, I pray for a special blessing over each and every person here, over each and every person online, for those who have been contending for such a long time, Father. Lord, I ask for just a, 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 a grace for endurance this morning. That revival over time would bring that kind of awakening that would begin to transform everything. You know, with the Imagineers, Walt Disney commissioned a a company of people with the authority and the opportunity 
to take concepts from the imagination and to see them manifest on the earth. And I feel like that's, that's taking place this morning, that the Lord is going to give you the authority and the opportunity to take concepts and ideas that he's had within his heart to see them established on the earth. And I think it'll look differently from, from person to person. but that you have permission that the Lord is releasing that to you today. And even when it feels lonely, and even when it feels like nobody sees what you see, as you begin to do it, people will begin to see it, and they will begin to run with you. You know, my prayer is that even for, th for some of you that tried it, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago and it failed miserably and you said I will never take that kind of risk again I will never try that ever again my prayer for you today is that 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 kind of crazy courage that you had in your youth where you, where you, didn't, where you, you didn't care if you failed <laughs> you didn't care if it didn't work you were going to do it, right? It didn't matter what anybody told you. Like, I'm going to do this. My prayer is that that, is that that youthful courage would be restored to you. That you'd be willing to go back to that God dream, that God thing that didn't work in the past. That you'd be willing to pick that up. And try again. And try again. Yeah? And I, th I think the biggest, the biggest challenge from this point forward is that you're going to see stuff, you're going to hear stuff, and you're going to want to respond the same way that everybody else is responding. You're going to have that same opportunity to get offended again, right? You'll have that same opportunity to kind of disappear again, to, to get low in the boat again. But I think the challenge is, is that after today, that as you begin to move forward, that you'd realize, like, that we we can't we can't we can't just keep doing what we've been doing, but we've we've got to like begin responding differently. And we, it's like we have to remind ourselves, like, nah, nah, bro, I'm an awakener. I'm an agent of awakening. I'm a, I'm a disruptor. I'm I'm going up the stream. So in the past, I would have just let this thing take me where it was going to take me. But as of this point forward. I'm not just going to keep doing what I've been doing. From this point forward, I'm going to go, I'm going to lean into the resistance. I'm going to respond differently. Because God's doing a new thing in me. Yeah? So Father, I thank you for each and every one here today. Lord, I pray, Lord, that your voice bring practical application where there's question marks right now. And Father, I pray that your spirit would release courage where there's fear right now. And Father, I ask... Lord, that your voice would continue to speak, and I ask that this thing would, would germinate. And Father, I ask, God, that as we begin to move forward, that, that, we would, that we would feel the favor of heaven come on that very thing that we're applying our hands. And Father, I pray that there'd be the kind of revival dynamic where the dreams of God actually do come true. So Father, we thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this time together. In Jesus' name, everybody said... Amen. Come on. God bless you. Love you guys.